Last year at our symposium, we had the opportunity to see some videos with models of outstanding work that students had done in a variety of grades. And there was one task that was done at grade two, and it really inspired Denise and Jenny and myself to kind of think, how can we design a project um, with one of the science outcomes in grade two, the students could, they could become models of excellence where they could show, it, we could just raise the bar on a piece of writing that would turn out to be excellent. So that's kind of what inspired us. Creating works of excellence starts with inspiring students. High quality reading, writing and speaking happen when kids feel passion and purpose for their studies. The task was that the students were going to create a bookmark where they became champions for bats and tried to change the minds of the students at Elizabeth Rimmel School about why bats are really necessary and important for us and actually fascinating creatures and actually not the scary creatures they might think. We have to learn that, pe that people that are scared of bats don't have to be scared of bats. I had always done a project where we made a bat book and I was kind of tired of it. Not that the students were, but uh, I was tired of doing it and wanted to be inspired to try something new. And right away we t I showed them the video of Austin's butterfly about how the grade one boy had tried his draft, I believe it was six times. First we tried it and we just tried as a class, we said let's just draw from our head what we think a bat looks like. And we had a good laugh and then we started looking at bat pictures and we started doing more of a scientific drawing of a bat and it got more and more complex. Well my first drawing was from my head and I just made it up, it looks pretty close. But the, the last drawing, it looks um, a little bit like um, a Pacific drawing. It's more Pacific about like the bones and the wings and probably maybe the body. But it really freed a lot of kids to uh, critique in a real positive way with each other. And then our partners, um, they helped us figure out like what's wrong, but they did it nicely. Like, um, uh, you forgot this, or um, you need to put a little bit more detail on that. We wanted um, the students to write a persuasive piece of uh, a text, including information about bats, but to throw the persuasive part in, which is kind of a brand new task for the grade two. And looking through the models of excellence, looking through their website, we came across the uh, bookmark. And we thought this was really meaningful work, which is one of the principles of the TEF. And so we thought we would give it a try, and right from the very beginning, the kids were really excited about it. The first part was in the classroom with the classroom teacher. So they uh, had uh, like a webcam, and it was very interesting to see these bats. And so that was kind of the kickoff to it. And the children then were um, exposed to a whole bunch of different kinds of books and materials, videos, and they started uh, collecting some information about bats. After they had a good base of some background knowledge about bats, and that's kind of when we brought up the big question, how can we be champions of bats in the Bow Valley? My role as a part-time teacher in the Learning Commons is to focus on building a flexible environment with the goal of supporting student success for all our learners. The Learning Commons is embedded in a culture of collaboration. So when Liz approached Denise, our reading specialist, and myself to co-design a new and inspired scientific writing and drawing task, it was the perfect fit for my role. There was lots of modeling, and that's where the, we modeled with the whiteboard how to do it so that there is that scaffolding in place and hopefully as the year goes on there could be less of that. After we talked about what it is to be a champion, we showed them exemplars of persuasive pieces of writing and we actually read some books and we talked about that. So the kids had an idea of different kinds of things they could um, use in their own writing. 
After they had their notes, we had a lot of visuals around the room. Before the kids actually started writing, she was modeling a lot. And that's why I think this was so successful. So not just modeling the dot notes, but also modeling writing. So she would have the kids all around a big table. They were watching Liz planning her ideas, using her jot notes, and starting to write. And I think that that in itself really gave the kids a place to start. So it wasn't a large, huge piece of writing. We were going to keep it short but powerful. So. We worked together collaboratively and took turns teaching different elements of the task that uh, tapped into our individual strengths. What words can you use? How can you make that sentence stronger? Because we were trying to persuade someone to change their mind. So that narrower focus um, actually took it deeper and deeper and the quality of writing going through one draft and improving it and improving it the next time, the quality just got better and better. This is my first draft. This is my second draft. This is my third draft. My first copy, it had not much writing and then it turned into all of this writing which I think it is a really hard thing for me to do because writing is kind of, it's a really challenging thing for me so I, I'm just really proud of how much writing I have done here so far. came back time and time again that there was some kind of assessment where we could check in. How are they doing? Did they really understand the task? Did they really understand BATS at a deeper level? Um, and just coming back to that all the time. They had a rubrics which they had a chance to have some input with. The rubric means if your writing is like, um, this means that it's excellent. This means that you're right on top of grade two. This means you need to work on it a lot more. It was fantastic. We had amazing results from it, and it was really powerful, some of the th things that the students wrote beyond our expectations.